back to Let's Defend. We're going to work on SOC 101 Event ID 18 Exercise Fishing Mail Detected. This is, as a note, um, one of the VIP events. So you will have to either have a paid subscription or uh, having done a write up in order to get the credit to get the VIP access for free. Now, if you'd seen the last video, SOC 107 Event ID 19, apparently the event IDs should probably be done in order, and I did not pay any sort of attention to that. So, if you remember from SOC 107 Event ID 19, we had the Catherine Prod system that was a Linux machine that was running a process called Credit Card that looked like it was being used for local privilege escalation and making contact with a uh, mail system that ended with .ph something that looked just a little bit odd and ph would be philippines so yeah <laughs> If, you're, if you've seen the 107 event 19, you also notice that, or will remember that I ended up missing a point in terms of CNC, which I believe was the that Philippines domain. But let's continue on here. So what we have is the phishing email that started that next event, SOC 107, event 19, um, that was allowed through to Catherine at let's defend at IO with the source address as David at cashbank.com that basically denotes the subject's urgent your bank account may have fallen into the hands of fraudsters where they lay out that they tried to call you in this case Catherine they detected suspicious activities in your account they suspect that they've taken over the credit card. Can you quickly check your attached credit card statement and return to us, yours truly? So, looking at this, it's most definitely a phishing email. You can make that determination because of a couple different things. We've got just because the English spelling is not really spot on generally it would be oh, we need you to call us at the number on the back of your f credit card uh, we need you to log in um, take a look at your statement you know and view the messages there they're not going to email you an attachment and that attachment is the same process that we had observed in SOC 107 running that credit card which flagged 23 out of 63 scan engines on virus total. And just for a, a hoot, as it were, we're going to go to Talos Intelligence. We're going to take that IP address for the sending IP, and we're going to try to run it through and see what shakes out. So it looks like domain that it goes back to is bcr.host. It doesn't really have a re web reputation, anything else like that, not on any spam or block lists. Realistically, if this was on the money, you would expect that this IP address should have something to denote with cashbank.com, whether or not it's mail.cashbank.com or something to that effect. Assuming that the domain is actually legitimate, let's put cashbank.com into... Oh, okay. Apparently it is known. Or it does actually exist. No mail, no mail service, anything else like that. All run through GoDaddy. So then, having looked at this particular point, we would expect that... 
since we don't see any mail service we would expect this to actually now be going through GoDaddy so we would expect to see then that 172.82.128.241 to go back to GoDaddy infrastructure as, to po as opposed to what it was um, also should be instead of that bcr.host Yeah, network owner. Quick Packet LLC as opposed to GoDaddy. So not that, you know, there wasn't enough red flags here. This is bad in all shapes and forms. So let's go ahead and take ownership and let's work on the investigation. We're going to work on the playbook. Parse the email. Well, we've got all that if you've gone through and jotted it all down into a notepad. Is there attachments? Yes. It's malicious. 23 out of... Uh, here we're going to build out the same exact portion before. We're going to grab the MD5. Fill in the documentation we're going to put the IP address from as the sending IP I'm going to go ahead and add in the email sender If this was inside of an actual sock, you would go through and you would more than likely see about getting that cashbank.com. Um, you check the firewall logs, web history logs, and if you couldn't find any sort of access to there for business reasons, you'd probably just lop that off. Same thing with adding the 172.82.128.241 um, that we pulled from the sending IP address and add that to the block list in your email system just to try to stay ahead. Uh, and then of course it's going to be sending domain, right? Email domain. Okay, uh, do we have anything else in terms of artifacts? We've got the SMTP address, we've got source address, we've got the domain, we have the MD5 of the attachment that was sent through. Alright, we'll move on. And as to whether or not if it was delivered to user. Uh, when we took ownership of this, the ah, uh, where is it? Device action was allowed, so it was delivered. Which, given the fact that we know that credit card was running on the Catherine PRD system from SOC 107, we know that they opened it and ran it. A little bit too late, but again, I'm not really doing this. Check if someone opened it. Yes, we know that someone did. It's running. And now we need to, need to issue containment. So we go back to Endpoint Security, Catherine Prod, and we flip the switch to get that sucker quarantined. Go back to case. That's done. We finished the playbook. We'll go ahead and submit it, and we'll see as to whether or not if I missed anything on this go-round. Phishing, email, possibly spoofed. What we could check is, well, 
that SMTP address. We could check to see as to whether or not if uh, there's an SPF record for cashbank.com. Generally what you can do for that is MX Toolbox and they actually have a well, several different services. Uh, Super Tool cashbank.com I don't really want to look at the MX SPF record they don't have a record published okay well so much for that then so we're not gonna say spoofed well yeah I mean all indications were that it was from or the domain was hosted on GoDaddy so we'll say possibly spoofed with malicious attachment that is a true positive alright let's take a look SOC 101 18 hey full points maybe possibly this time was correct in true positive da 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 okay so there we go that's how you do SOC 101 event ID 18 and moving forward, I'll go through and pay closer attention to the event IDs to kind of put these out in more of a sequential order.